Hello, my name is Marted and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Makerbox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a filament called Linen from Biofilla or TwoBears.de. So let's have a look after the intro. So here they state that you should print this at 200 to 210 degrees on the hot end and room to 70 degrees on the bed, so normal PLA uh, settings. Uh, here you say it features a matte surface finish. Biofila linen is a matte finish biofilament made with renewable materials like wood and other plants. Print like PLA. So this is uh, the information they gave us. Um, I printed out several prints and I'm going to show you the results. So the first print I did was this one and here I got extreme amount of stringy issues. Um, uh, here I was having C-Hop enabled and this one I printed with without C-Hop and still got extreme amount of stringing with the retractions. So this was giving me not very good results. Uh, and the strength is rather low, it's very easy to break off the strands. Um, and then printed out uh, Mr. Bali, and here he came out. Uh, the surface finish of the print is, is quite nice, it's like a rough surface finish, but on the retractions, uh, uh, the, the filament is extremely stringy. Uh, it's, it's easy to clean up, but it's uh, something that you have to take note of. It's going to be stringy, and if the model is a delicate model, it will be not looking. It will not look very good. But uh, after clean up, you might be able to get it in a good state. But this is how uh, Mr. Belly came out. Not very nice. <laughs> uh, and then printed out my maker coin, and that actually came out pretty nice. Um, the logo in the back came out nice and it's like a paper paper look and feel to this filament. It's like a rough surface finish and uh, looks uh, rather different than a normal PLA and has a different feel to it. But this print came out pretty good and here's uh, not uh, much of a travel moves outside of the model so there was not a stringing issues in this model. Um, then I printed out this overhang test um, I got pretty good results uh, here in the 70 degrees I got some drooping in the in this part but that's uh, uh, not very severe but uh, in 60 degrees it came out excellent and, and no issues so overhang performance was pretty good um, I then printed out those two models and I printed them in one go so the tool head was moving from its model and that's the reason for the stringing part coming out of this model to the other one. Besides the stringing, the surface finish is quite nice. And if you clean up the stringing, you should be able to get pretty nice prints with this filament. If you, if you don't mind cleaning up stringy parts. And the Omnum came out the same, stringing. But uh, other than that, pretty good. And here on this side, where there was no travel moves outside of the model, it was looking really nice. And here on the back really smooth surface and, and I like the, the Bates color it's like a similar color of the old computer cases back in the day <laughs> but it's like a neutral color but it's looking pretty good except the stringing and I find just with my fingers it's rather easy to to clean up the stringing so if you put some time into cleaning stringing it was could be looking quite nice, but if you don't like stringing, this might be not the best filament. <laughs> if you don't want to spend time cleaning up, but otherwise than that, it was looking pretty good. So that was my quick look at the linen filament from Biofilla or Two Bears. Uh, severe stringing issues, but other than that, it was looking pretty good. And yeah, if you have time to clean up the stringing issues, you could get pretty good, pretty good looking parts. But uh, it's not very strong filament in regard of mechanical properties. Um, that's uh, something that you have to take in, into account. So if this is something for you, you can give this filament a go. But this will be it for this episode of Makerbox Mondays. And I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.